my name is Portia uh, Zanzana from Port Elizabeth, but I'm residing in Stellenbosch. I design jewelry with beads, specializing on the beaded balls to create necklaces, earrings, and bracelets. The skills we, I learned is on how to develop your business properly because we really like to do things roughly. Although I uh, uh, do record my books and do everything, but in the workshops you have to be specifically, they tell you, you have to do this, do the costing in the right way. My name is Marilyn Savardin, I do crochet products. Uh, my business name is Off The Hook. If I do a new product and I need packaging done, um, I could go to product support. They would help me to design a box for, for my baby booties. Um, business cards, I've, been, I've done it here at the product support. Yes, I'm Fanny Choto. The business we have, it's a furniture business made out of a, a retired wine barrels. The most of the thing which I've learned here is that uh, growing your business, you see. We started from the first one, it was very excellent. We were just doing without any knowledge and basic skills to improve our business. Design Support is the CCDI's newest program and it was born in 2013 with the writing of the Provincial Design Strategy. So two of the key areas of Design Support's work are running design interventions with businesses and corporates. This is to get them to understand that design on the one side, yes, is all about product design, uh, corporate ID design, but design is a process. It's also a really powerful way of finding out what products and services we should be making. And we've identified four key sectors just based on the region's economic profile, uh, manufacturing, green technology, health and agro-processing. Then the second really important area we're looking at is design education. Making sure that we're teaching the right kinds of skills to, to develop these kind of critical design competencies that we need in order to have a competitive economy. My name is Greer Valley and my craft business is called Cushion. So Cushion is a leather goods and textile brand based in Cape Town. We source our fabric from all over Africa and it's all hand crafted and hand woven. I first heard about the CCDI in 2011 when we started Cushion. I subsequently attended some of their business support workshops, specifically around things like how to make a sale and closing the deal. And then this year I got involved with market support. So the market support I'm receiving from the CCDI at the moment is this opportunity to be in the watershed store. It's the first market opportunity that I've participated in. It's also influencing the next phase of product development for us. My name is Stacey Bukas. I'm a Cape Town based jewelry designer. My brand is called The Ring to a Jewelry and I design and manufacture all the jewelry in the brand. I joined the CCDI in 2012 and then I became a lot more active in the CCDI's going to workshops and so on in 2013. So the workshops that I have gone to is the financial workshops which basically looked at different income statements and the importance of having those structures put in place within your business. I also did the social media and um, networking kind of events which was obviously quite helpful. As I needed something I just approached them and asked you know do you have a workshop on financials or on um, marketing so that's exactly how it started and the more I got involved the more opportunities came up and I'm at the watershed. My name is Zikona Tefu. I'm the manufacturer and producer of Olive Handmade Soaps. I make all my soaps straight from scratch. I make them with locally uh, sourced oils and pure essential oils. I was introduced to the CCDI by a friend of mine uh, who's also in the soap making industry. I've been started attending workshops, but the workshops that have been really, really 
helpful in my journey were the ones especially about running your business the financial side of things the costing um, they also do creative ones which I've also done but for me actually formalizing whatever it is you do your craft into a business that is for me what really did it the opportunity with being at the CCD I store at the watershed has actually given me a lot of exposure. It, it has really added tremendous value to my business. Tremendous. I mean, I wouldn't literally be where I am now if it wasn't for this opportunity. I'm, I'm quite small still, but I always say I actually want to be the biggest handmade soap manufacturer this side of Africa. Uh, and it, it really looks huge, but I think it's a possibility and I'm there to make it happen.